going on, YouTubers? I have here recently that just came in. Um, what I had before was the Kill Bill by Handmade. The Bill's version. And my fiance is also a katana enthusiast and loves to cut. She wanted an upgrade because the first katana that she got was uh, like an ebony steel. Of course, ebony steel is uh, basically 1045 in regards to strength. It's good for knives maybe, but not for katanas. And this is the bride's version. If you give me one second, I'll unpack them. Okay. And they both have Bill's mark and the bride's mark. Don't mind the, I got Vaseline on them, and that's how I keep my katanas from rusting. They've never rusted with uh, Vaseline, and I put them, I have a bunch hanging in the basement. And of course, the basement is a damp place, worst place to put a blade. Um, but Vaseline prevents oxidation. Basically, if you coat it with Vaseline, it, it it doesn't allow air to get to the blade. So, you know, in my last review of the Bill version katana, it's out of all my katanas, even the most expensive one, this one cut and performed outstandingly. I mean, very, very good. And there was a sale, flash sale on Amazon, dropped it down to 200 by handmade. Same company got mine, and she went and got hers because she wanted to upgrade. And I guess she liked it because there's a his and hers katana, basically. <clears throat> and when we got it, we did another cutting session, and it performed flawlessly. Uh, the tangs are signed by the swordsmith. It's not no cheap signature where it's scribed with a Dremel or whatever. It's, it's deep cuts. And I will show you the pictures of the uh, swordsmith signatures on the katana's uh, tang at the end of this video and give you more better close-up pictures of it in detail of the fittings and everything. Um, I like how the brass is, it comes a little extra shiny compared to most, which is a dull one. They, you know, for these prices that they offer from Handmade, they really put a lot of effort into it. Um... And I, you know, nothing's come loose with the hard targets. Nothing is wiggling. The the leather, and it's real leather on the Tosuka. It's not coming loose. Um, and I'm surprised by some impacts. And when she cut with this one, she's beginning to learn how to cut. And... She actually hit the stand twice, very hard on the cut, and absolutely no damage whatsoever. Um, it took a licking and kept on ticking, basically. So overall, my review for the Bridesmaid is just as would be for the Kill Bill version, Bill's version. Um, you know, even if you wanted this version for 
you know, male, it, it's not feminine at all. And I think that's pretty cool about the selection. Um, of course, I like, you know, the uni kind of style on it. Um, but I'll get some videos of it cutting. As you can see, look at the blade length. Now, if you know, like, even if you ordered from Citadel and stuff like that, um, that you get blades, you can order the same thing, but the blades feel different. And these two feel absolutely the same. And even if it said, say, the blade was 26 inches, for example, you might get 27 inches or, you know, 26 and a half inches. Um, but these came directly dead on the measurements and uh, I was surprised about that seeing that you know um, that the style is and these were both stamped by two different source myths so um, but they could uh, somehow they just kept it in specs and they did an excellent job if you have 200 I think they're on sale steel for about to something now um, I would highly recommend this if you do hard cutting or soft cutting this katana handles well the grip of it uh, the handles you can see has the hourglass shape I love the feel of the handle on these um, and they just feel like a complete extension of your arm if you're out in the market looking for something and like I said, I have uh, Hanway, I have the Hanway Bamboo, I have the Dragon King versions, and, you know, they run up to $700 plus up, you know, and I have some lower ends that cost less than this. Um, out of all my katanas, these cut the best. I don't, I, it must be the geometry and the length of the katana because it, it it's just a... a performance cutting machine really is when you slice or something you you just you know when i cutting right now i'm getting some uh tatami mats soon um but for now i was using uh pool noodles with a thick wood dowel in the center of the noodles and when i cut with these i couldn't even feel it going through the wood it just sliced it off um, I, don't know, I, I, I just love these, really. And it goes to show that you don't have to pay 10000 I mean 2000 or $1,000 to get you a very nice katana. I mean, the Tsuba is iron. It's simple style, you know, it, it, it keeps it within the movie, but, you know, Obviously, you would want that if you're wanting the Kill Bill selection. But I love the guard. I love the feel of it. It's soft. It's not jagged. You know, nothing to snag your, your hands. Unlike most, you know, Tsubas that, you know, may be well-decorated and beautiful. But this is, it's Spartan, but it, it is also beautiful. You see it. And it feels nice against the skin and they the craftsmanship is an A plus it really is so that's just my two cents she wanted to get uh, an upgrade so she bought the hers version of the Kill Bill and this is by handmade I will show some up deal up close. I can't talk. It's early in the morning and my brain's like shite, but I will show you some up close pictures of the katana here and the signature of the swordsmith um, and the quality of it. But that's it. That's the Kill Bill version. Uh, his and hers. And it is a pure performance cutting katana. 
I, I, I would suggest you guys check it out. All right, this is Katana Fanboy signing out. Hope you guys enjoyed the vid. Um, waiting for some more Katanas to come in to do a review on. Uh, and some more projects coming up here. So stay tuned and uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys later.